Irv Miller and his wife Laura have been developing tiny self-defense weapons for civilians, police, and corrections officers. At some point in everybody's life, they get scared. Having some type of self-defense weapon on you is a good idea. Irv bought his first stun gun more than 20 years ago and got instantly hooked on small, less lethal weapons. Not every situation calls for a lethal action. Lethal actions are, are literally life and death. One of Irv's best sellers is the Kubaton. This slim impact weapon packs a punch in less than six inches of aluminum or plastic. What makes it so effective is that there's pressure points all over the body. Understanding the body's various pressure points is key to mastering the Kubaton. If you take a hard object like a Kubaton, you press that anywhere around the wrist and squeeze from the other side with your thumbs, you're gonna take total control of that person. With hundreds of applications, the Kubaton can be used in almost any scenario. Somebody comes up from behind you and grabs you. She'll press the Kubaton down into the elbow area and then takes control of the wrist. It's one of many pressure points. When she presses down, my hand lets go. No matter how big the guy is, if he grabs you, you pull one of these between his knuckles and pull his hand, he's gonna let go and he's gonna go with that hand. At first glance, the Wildcat keychain seems harmless, even cute. But squeeze it inside your fist, and it becomes a devastating self-defense weapon. Another close quarters weapon that we sell are stun guns. Stun guns deliver a disabling electric shock. Law enforcement has used them for decades. And more recently, the general public. A stun gun works off a simple three or nine volt battery system. Energy is sent through a set of capacitors to produce a high voltage current from 100,000 volts to more than a million. The strong electric shock disrupts the signals that go from the brain to the voluntary muscles, causing them to shut down. The effects last up to several minutes. Consumer stun guns come in a variety of tiny shapes and sizes. This gun here doubles as a cell phone. Everybody's carrying a cell phone, but this cell phone has an LED light, which comes in handy, but even more importantly, it's a stun gun. What's great about these mini stun guns is they're small, compact, very concealable, and they pack a hell of a punch. Stun guns are considered close quarter weapons. When you need a tiny weapon with a longer range, you can grab a can of pepper spray. What pepper spray is, is a mixture of very hot peppers with a few other components that cause the body to do things involuntarily. The eyes will slam shut. Your lungs feel like they're closing up. Your airways and mucous membranes start to swell. It takes the fight right out of somebody. The hot pepper in Irv's pepper spray is rated at 2 million Scoville heat units. That's 400 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. But Irv sells an even more powerful pepper spray. We call it Black Label Special Tactical Ops. And what this is for is worst case scenarios. So we already have a really nasty pepper spray to begin with. Then you add 2% tear gas. That combined with pepper is totally for a respiratory takedown. Tactical teams can hit them with the Black Label and pretty much incapacitate someone within a half a second or so. Working with police and civilians, Irv believes that using less lethal force is the first step in any physical confrontation. Nobody wants to take a life. In most situations, if you pull the pepper spray to use it first and it gets ugly fast, you literally throw the spray and you pull your side on it. That's how it's done. 